Welcome to the Ant Man channel, bro, or uh, girl. <laughs> it is Friday, August 9th, 2013. I am your host, Ant Man. I was thinking about buying some like some glasses that aren't even prescription, so that I could just wear glasses, and then everyone will be like, "Oh, he's trendy." You know, we should listen to him. You know, that's not a joke. I really think people are that stupid. <laughs> I love you anyway, though. You know. Let's not get personal, okay? Let's. I don't. I don't mean to be so personal sometimes, but I can't help it. You know, I just see a lot of people that are suffering from lack of knowledge because other people are so willing to believe a lie that they will perpetuate the lie <clears throat> because they don't want to be told what to do, son. Anyways, I got an article here, and if you know me, you know that I like to talk about the EMP threat. And so here I have an article from WND. This came in, I think, like two days ago. But I didn't have time to read it until now. This is by F. Michael Maloof. The flipping sun to cause unprecedented catastrophe. EMP threat raises with magnetic field swapping. <coughs> so we all know that the sun's going through some like season right now and whatnot. So let's pay close attention to these things. Let's not just be brainwashed and believe everything people tell us. Um... Yeah, I could go on with testimonies about this kind of stuff, but I'll just, I'll save you the time and I'll just read the article. Washington, is the flipping sun about to cause a catastrophe of unprecedented proportions? The sun is about to flip its magnetic field at the peak of its 11-year solar cycle or at the halfway point of what scientists call a solar maximum. With the star is at its most violent, uh, when the star is at its most violent in terms of solar flares and the Earth is most vulnerable to an electromagnetic pulse. That the surge of sun energy that scientists say could in an instant return the, the development world, the developed world to an agrarian society, essentially without any electronics and leave millions dead. This waypoint, uh, this midway point is expected in about four months, a December-January time frame, putting Earth in its position of greatest vulnerability even as the solar maximum diminishes well into 2014. I said 2004. Scientists for the National Aeronaut, uh, Aeronautics and Space Administration, or, or NASA, have said the sun will react its most intense period this year and well into next. Others have suggested that even until 2020, Earth still could be exposed to solar flares that if they hit Earth directly could knock out the U.S. national grid system and fry electronic components and automated control systems not only in the U.S. but in other industrialized countries. By 2020, huh? Have you ever seen that show, C-Lab 2021? That kind of seems like fun compared to like the stuff I hear today. Can we just live underwater in these like like bubbles and just kind of mess around? I'm just kidding. Wouldn't life be fun, you atheists out there, if you could just imagine your own reality and not have to go by the what the Bible says? The Bible. Woo! Woo! So scary. Get with it. There is an intelligent, creative, powerful, and loving God. <clears throat> and He is sovereign. It looks like we're no more than three to four months away from a complete field reversal, according to Todd Hoeksema, uh, director of Stanford University's Wilcox Solar Observatory. This change will have ripple effects throughout the solar system. National, uh, NASA officials say that as the magnetic field shift, the current sheet, which is, in, which is a surface that radiates billions of kilometers from the sun's equator, becomes very wavy. Since Earth orbits the Sun, it dips in and out of these waves of the current sheet. NASA officials said that the transition from a wave to a dip creates stormy space weather around Earth. Scientists say that the change also can provide some shielding from dangerous cosmic rays, which are high-energy particles created by supernova explosions and travel at the speed of light of approximately 186,000 miles a second, or, to be exact, 299,792,458 meters per second which is mind-blowing. I don't even know how to wrap my head around that. However, cosmic rays are not the same as the solar rays or flares which spew from dark spots on the sun's surface. Indeed, solar flare activity on the sun recently has increased as sunspots begin to shift and are aligned on a direct path toward Earth. The solar flares create an electromagnetic pulse or EMP effect that can wipe out electrical grids and communication systems and fry electronics. Some of these solar flares can be more than 20 times the size of the Earth. <clears throat> It's amazing. That's, that's really amazing. Experts say that Earth experienced the largest recorded direct solar flare in 1859, which is called the, Car the Carrington event. 
At the time, the only pieces of electri uh, electrical equipment were the telegraph and the first parts of the transatlantic cable. The direct hit from the solar flare burned the telegraph wires, created fires and explosions. The effects felt round the world last for three days. At the time, the transatlantic cable was being just being laid, but also had to replace. Be had to replace. Uh, excuse me. At the time, the transatlantic cable was just being laid, but also had to replaced. Uh, he forgot to put B. Be replaced due to the impact of the EMP on the equipment. Since then, countries have come to be dependent on electricity, electronic components, and automated control systems to survive as a society. See, it's times like this where you can't make fun of the guy that lives in the woods with the, you know, with the overalls and all that, dude. I totally understand you guys that don't live on the grid that live out in the, you know, the flourished greenlands of America. You guys, uh, you guys have a certain attribute that us city people don't have, and that's that you don't, you don't rely on, uh, on a, um, technology too much. You know that you can do certain things with your own hands that you don't need a certain tool to get a certain job done, that it's all super convenience in it. <clears throat> Let me tell you something about convenience that's really weird. The more convenience you have, the less you give a crap about what you can actually do with your own uh, in integrity or with your own intuitiveness. Experts say that a Carrington-type EMP event occurs every 100 years. However, it's been 154 years since that event, making Earth overdue for a similar event, but with more ca catastrophic effects on critical infrastructures due to the dependency on electricity. A direct hit from the EMP from a solar flare not only would knock out all unprotected electronics, but could s subject 90% of world's populations to starvation and death, particularly in urban areas. Who lives in an urban area? I do. That's not fun. That does not sound fun, okay? Okay, guys, you know, it's a good thing that, you know, the other day my storable food came in. I got a free sample here. Wise Company looks sav uh, savory. Strong love. I think it's smart to know what's really going on and to be prepared. It's not so much as being paranoid. It's just being wise and understanding that there is a shifting of the times coming Kind of like how the 90s were all like, you know, like it was popular to be a gangbanger in the 2000s and kind of started to fade away. Now it's totally exposed, just like evolution for being totally fake and other things. <clears throat> this is due to the fact that all critical infrastructures on which a uh, technologically or technological society such as the United States depends would, uh, would fail in a cascading effect once the grid is knocked out. These critical infrastructures include telecommunications, financial and banking systems, food and water delivery, emergency services and petroleum deliveries, among others. No cash registers would work, no fuel pumps, no trucks to deliver food, no networks like phone, power and water system, in essence, a return to an agrarian society. I think like 90% of today's youth would probably die because they're not allowed to use their cell phones. We're I know that there's youth out there that you guys are smart, you guys know what's going on, but you're like subject to this public school of seeing all this gangbanger culture around you and all the ignorance of it and all of the, the just, just the, I can't even say, I can't even really express myself without being a hypocrite toward what I believe in and I believe in having compassion toward people that are ignorant. But you know what? <clears throat> I understand what it's like to be in high school middle school and know that you're surrounded by idiots and to be empowered to do such a thing you need to read your bible to be empowered to live your life openly among other people and watch god go to work in, in amazing ways in addition to the 1859 carrington event other noble solar flare documented EMP, emp events had occurred in 1972 a major solar flare knocked out the long distance phone communications across some states including illinois according to nasa the event caused AT&T to uh, redesign its power system for transatlantic cables. In, 19, uh, in 1989, a powerful solar flare set off a major power blackout in Canada that left 6 million people without electricity for 9 hours. The flare distribute, uh, disrupted electric power transmissions from the Hydro-Quebec generating station and even melted some power transformers in New Jersey. In 2003, a solar flare initially measured at X-28 overwhelmed a spacecraft sensor, in measure, uh, sensor measuring it. Later, anal uh, analysis revealed that the flare had actually reached a peak strength of X-45. That solar storm was part of a string of some nine major flares that had occurred over a two-week period. Well, there you have it, you guys. We have two potential threats to our infrastructure here in the United States. The solar flares that are coming off of those black spots on the sun that are... <laughs> 
way bigger than the earth, so they're not going to be fun, you guys. They cause EMPs. We have that. And if you are familiar with my channel, then you've probably seen that, art, that article that I read about how uh, uh, North Korea is going to Cuba to, they're kind of like in cahoots, and that they may have a missile, a <clears throat> just like kind of like how the missile that went off in Syria the other day, it's a, it's a controlled nuclear missile that they can detonate in our atmosphere causing an EMP attack off of our coast. So the new Cuba missile, missile crisis has begun. The solar, uh, the solar, whatever the sun is going through, is going through its like time of the month or whatever. Dude, it's, it's, it's all coming to fruition, the threat of the EMP threat. Is it going to happen? I don't know. Could it happen? Absolutely. Keep your eyes open. Don't just believe in whatever, everything you guys hear. You know, like, oh, it's all good. Just eat your sugary stuff and eat your GMO and drink your fluoride. Don't ma make sure you drink your fluoride because if you're eating GMO and you're not eat, drinking your fluoride, you're not enhancing the effects. Come on, you guys. I want you dead. I want you dead. Is that what you like to hear? Or do you like to hear people that actually have compassion on you? You know, when Islam comes to our country and starts taking us over, you're going to miss hearing Christians want to want to have you know, only good things to say to you. We, we, we welcome you with open arms and with compassion. The, uh, the Muslim Brotherhood's not going to welcome you like that. They're just going to say, uh, Jihad, Jihad, Allahu Akbar, you know, you're an American, you deserve to die, and you're going to meet the end of my machete. So you guys out there that only hate us Christians because you don't want to believe in God, I, all I have to say to you is you're deluded and that you need to get your head straight you need to get your life together because you're trying probably way too hard and you're not getting anywhere the good thing about god's grace is that you rest in it and then he works in your life it's a supernatural thing and i know that that's a that's a that's a toss-up word i guess for a lot of you guys but have faith faith comes by hearing and hearing means read your bible so with that i love you all have a god blessed day i'm gonna be back in like two seconds so